e você vai ver também. Em entrevista à Globo News, o arcebispo Desmond Tutu fala da experiência da Comissão da Verdade na África do Sul. A afirmação Deus não é cristão, vinda de um importante arcebispo, pode chocar. Talvez não tanto por se tratar do sul-africano Desmond Tutu, que nunca foi convencional na luta pelos direitos humanos e pela igualdade em seu país. De passagem pelo Brasil, Desmond Tutu conversou com a repórter Laura Cassano sobre as ideias presentes no último livro lançado por ele e também contou um pouco da experiência sul-africana em temas delicados, como a apuração de crimes cometidos durante o Apartheid, feita pela Comissão de Verdade e Reconciliação, presidida por ele na década de 90. Um dos religiosos mais respeitados do mundo também é uma figura controversa. Um bom exemplo disso está no título do seu novo livro, que já na capa traz a seguinte provocação. Deus não é cristão. Essa foi a forma que Desmond Tutu encontrou de questionar o direito de qualquer grupo religioso de reivindicar para si a exclusividade de Deus. Atitudes como esta marcam a personalidade desta figura, que foi fundamental na luta contra o regime do Apartheid na África do Sul e que ganhou o Prêmio Nobel da Paz em 1984, que hoje conversa com a gente no Jornal das 10. Archbishop, thank you so much for being here with us. So tell me how did you find out that God was not Christian? <laughs> well, I've I've met wonderful people who were not Christian. Uh, and I've known of others. I mean, I've met the Dalai Lama, uh, and I've met uh, people who have been influenced by a Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was not a Christian, uh, but almost everybody in the world would say Mahatma Gandhi was a great exponent of peace, non-violence. The Dalai Lama today is regarded as the leader not just of uh, the the buddhist the tibetan buddhist but very very many people of different faiths consider him to be one of the of the world's leading moral authorities your claim that there is no future without forgiveness has caused immense controversy around the world especially when you say that in a radical program for reconciliation the victims of an atrocity should forgive the oppressors let's consider the situation in syria how will those people benefit from this theory i i don't anywhere say uh, the victim must forgive Uh, and in our own Truth and Reconciliation Commission, we never expected uh, as, as, as something that had to be done. Forgiveness is a gift, you know, and it's a gift that wonderfully blesses both the giver and the receiver. But it isn't something that you can, you can uh, compel someone to, to, to have. No way can you say you must. You can only say we hope you can forgive. What do you think about the Truth Commission established here in Brazil to investigate the crimes committed during the dictatorship? I commend uh, Uh, your president, I commend the Brazilians. For instance, in, in our case uh, in South Africa, we said all the, the, the cases should be in public. People want to know, not so much uh, because they want to revenge, they want to know what happened to my son. What happened to my husband when he disappeared? That is what they long for more than anything. And when, and when they get to be told, many times there's a part of their heart that is satisfied. And that is what we did in South Africa, was that those who, who were the perpetrators in order to draw them to come and tell us what happened 
We said, if you tell us and we believe uh, what you have told us, then you will get amnesty. I do not know, uh, as it were, the carrot that you're going to give to draw them so that they speak the truth. Archbishop, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Muito simpático. No programa Globo News Literatura, Desmond Tutu conta mais sobre o novo livro e a defesa da liberdade religiosa. O programa vai ao ar nesta sexta-feira, às nove e meia da noite.